Here are a few quick tips for retouching scanned line drawings in Affinity Photo. So I've got Affinity Photo open here and I can just move out to my file browser where I have a scanned PDF pen sketch. And I can just click drag and bring that into Affinity Photo to import it. So I have my PDF import options dialog here. I can just leave all these options at their default values and click open to import the PDF. Now I have a dialog up here telling me that it has assigned a grayscale color profile to this document. Not a problem, we can convert it to full color at a later date. So let's close this down for now and start retouching our line drawing. So if we just zoom in, we'll see that because this is a one bit grayscale scan, the edge detail is very jagged and rough. There are a couple of filters we can use to help make this look a bit neater. So the first filter we will use is dust and scratches. Let's go to filters, noise, and dust and scratches. So just by dragging the radius slider up in small amounts, we can already see a difference. It removes all of the erroneous detail and also smooths out the main line detail and fills in any gaps as well. Typically, you will want to use a value between one and four pixels. So I'm going to actually type in exactly two pixels for this and click apply. Okay, now if we just move around the document, we may still have some erroneous detail like here. And for that, we can just use the inpainting brush tool. So if we click hold into the retouching tools flyout here, we can select the inpainting brush tool. We don't need a brush width this big, so let's use the left square bracket key on the keyboard to reduce the width. Then we can just either click drag or single click into these areas. By the way, for panning around your document, you can either click, hold and drag if you have the middle mouse button, or you can hold spacebar, then left click and drag. Once we've retouched all of the erroneous detail, like here, we might also want to smooth the line detail some more. And for that, we can use Gaussian blur with a very small radius. So let's go to filters, blur and Gaussian blur. And we're just going to type into the radius input box here, 0.1 pixels, and then just use tab to commit that value. Now, because we're zoomed in above 500%, this obviously looks quite soft, but if we zoom to 100%, and to do that, we can use command one on Mac or control one on Windows, we will see that the effect it has is actually quite pleasing. It smooths out the line detail just enough without making it look too soft. Let's click apply to apply that Gaussian blur. The other thing we might want to do is remove the default paper background. And to do that, we can go to filters, colors, and erase white paper. Now, sometimes, especially when importing PDFs, you may not immediately see any difference. And that's because on the document menu, you may need to enable the transparent background option. When you import a PDF, this tends to be disabled by default. So let's just enable it. And now we can see that the erase white paper filter has erased all of the white areas. And instead we can now see alpha transparency. So what this enables us to do across on the layers panel, you can see we have our pixel layer here. We can go to layer and new fill layer to add a pure white vector fill. Now let's just zoom to fit. So that's command zero on Mac, control zero on Windows. And I can drag this fill layer underneath the pixel layer like so. So now I have a pure white background fill. Notice that I have the gradient tool automatically selected. That happens whenever you add a fill layer to your document. And so if I wanted, I could click drag to draw out a nice gradient across my document. Alternatively, if I go to edit and undo to get back to my pure white fill, I could move across to the color panel here. And it's at this point that we need to convert to a full color document format, because at the moment we can only create grayscale color values. So to do that, let's go to document 
and convert format slash ICC profile. We want to go from gray slash eight to RGB slash eight or CMYK if you want to work with print colors. And then we'll just stick with the default sRGB color profile and click convert. As you can see now, with my fill layer selected, I can create any type of color just by click dragging here. Alternatively, if you wanted to use an HSL color wheel, you can change the color model by clicking up here and going across to the wheel option instead. And that gives you just a bit more intuitive control for creating certain tints and tones, like for example, a very light blue that's just off-white. Finally, we may want to crop into this document to get rid of the rough edges up here and also the marks in the corners. And for that, we can use the crop tool located here. And with this, we just click drag on each of the diagonal corner nodes to bring our crop boundary in like so. And when we're happy, we can just click apply to commit that crop. So there we go, just a quick look at some techniques you can use to tidy up scanned line drawings. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.